I'm Bill McDonough, and I'm the co-author of Cradle to Cradle with Dr. Michael Braungart, a German chemist. I'm an architect and have been focusing on design and wondered a long time ago how I could design a building that would be of quality if it made children sick or destroyed the planet. And Dr. Braungart was focused on ecotoxicology and the health of materials and systems. And we came together based on, on uh, our mutual enthusiasm for uh, high quality things and, and his depth of science and my interest in expression of culture. And, and have developed a cradle-to-cradle -cradle approach to design. And that looks at things that are in cycles, so that certain materials that are for life and health, like uh, products that can return to soil and be composted or, or uh, used in other products that are biologically based, go back to the soil safely. And products that are we call technical nutrients, like the solder in a computer or polymers or plastics and metals and things like that, that can go back into technical cycles, which we call technical nutrients, um, allow us to think of the world as two metabolisms, uh, both functioning with the same rules. And if we look at the ancient rules of biology, we see that it's powered by the sun, that uh, it has materials that are safe and healthy in closed cycles, typically, uh, and that there is no concept of waste, and that it's, it's a real celebration of the abundance of sun, water, minerals, and so on, producing biota. And the earth is a growing place, and there's more greenery, and, and so on. And so we model technical products the same way. We say, wouldn't it be great if we could make a television or a computer or a car that could go back to industry forever without contaminating the biosphere? So we're trying to get all the molecules into the right places, doing the right things at the right time. And, uh, and we can see such massive disruptions in our current design as humans such as carbon in the atmosphere. It's a material in the wrong place. And it's hugely disruptive. We see carbon in the oceans now, destroying uh, the ability of, the, uh, of, of animals and to form their shells and in a carbonic, uh, acidic environment and, and will drop out the bottom of our food chain. And so these are huge design questions for our species. And if we're gonna be the dominant species, which we now are. 99% of the large mammals on the planet are under human management. If we're gonna have that kind of responsibility, I think it's a time for us to recognize the design is the first signal of human intention. And if our intention is to destroy the planet, we're doing great. But if our intention is to, is to thrive and celebrate every child that's born and know how to love them, then our goal has to be not let us destroy this place, but let us celebrate the idea of a delightfully diverse, safe, healthy, and just world with clean air, soil, water, and power, ecologically, economically, equitably, and elegantly enjoyed, period.